so guys this is the top we are going to be making i decided to do full length top you can do a crop top if you want to so this is what the back looks like i'm going to be wearing a jacket over this because i don't want to expose my back and that drawstring is just to adjust it so let's get started so i'll be using my yarn ball this is the yeye wool it is a nigerian brand and it's 40 grams it is 100 percent acrylic so i'll be using this for my crop top today and i'll be using my hook this is um a five millimeter hook and you also be needing a scissor so i'll be doubling my thread because it's not big enough and i want it to be like this so i'm going to double my yarn thread so now we're going to make a slip knot then you insert your hook now i'm going to make a chain of 18 we're making the we're going to make a chain of 18 this is going to be for the neck part so if you want if this is for this is a size medium so you can make it either bigger or smaller depending on your size so this is how we do it you wrap your yarn across you around your hook and then you bring it through the hole and out you wrap and you pull through wrap and pull through so i'm going to make a total of 18 and i'll meet you when i'm done so i'm done with the 18 chains and this is what it looks like so this is the neck part so now we are going to start increasing so our work will begin to go like this down to our armpits and like that so moving on i'm going to make two single crochet in the second stitch from our hook so this is the first stitch and this is the second stitch so this is how you make a single crochet you insert your hook my yarn is still wrapped around insert your hook in the second stitch and then you wrap your yarn around and wrap your yarn around and pull it out so you have two yarn remaining you wrap your yarn around your hook and pull through both then this is one then we're doing the second one in that same hole in that same stitch so you insert wrap your yarn and pull through wrap your yarn and pull through both so the reason why I'm doing two single crochet in this stitch is because we're going to be increasing at the sides so now I'm going to do one single crochet in the remaining part till we get to the end to the end to the other side so just do one single crochet in each stitch till we get to the end and I will meet you at that side so I've gotten to the end and it's just remaining one stitch so I'm going to make two single crochet in that stitch one and two then i'll flip my work around chain one so now we are going to do two single crochet in the first stitch the first one the first single crochet will go the normal way we've been doing it like inside here then the second single crochet we go through the back loop this is what the back loop looks like let me show you this is the back loop so that is what we are going to do so the first one goes through both loops the back loop for the first stitch might be hard to find since we've gone through since we've gone through the through both loops so i'm going through the back loop now i 
so now we're going to do single crochet but through the back loop one one for each till we get to the end so this is the step second stitch i'm going through the back loop if you do not understand please rewind and watch again so i would continue and i'll meet you once we get to the end so we've gotten to the end of our roll now remaining the last stitch so i'm going to do one single crochet through the back loop and the second one goes the regular one that we normally do through both loop not through the back stitch I'm sorry so after that you flip your work around and you chain one and then you go through the regular one single crochet one then the second one goes through the back loop so this one is really hard to find then now you're going to do single crochet in each stitch till you get to the end again so i'll meet you once we get to the end again so i just want to show you what the back loop looks like the back loop you have your work like this so you flip it like this and then you see these holes so this is where you insert your hook then for the regular one you just go through this side this top part so that is what the back hook looks like so now we are the last part again and i'm going through the back loop my single crochet and then i'm going through the regular so i'm doing the regular single crochet so I'll chain one, flip my work around, and I'm going to continue this process for about 30 rows. I'm going to do this for 30 rows. So this is a size medium. So depending on what size you want to make, you can add or reduce. So I'll meet you after my 30th roll. So guys, I am done with my 30 rows. So this is how you count it. You see all these ripples. So I get one ripples as I um as two. So this is two, four, six, eight, then twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. So I have my thirty. So now we are going to stop. We are going to stop increasing. And now we are just going to make it like this down so that is all we're going to do we're going to make it go down like this like a rectangle so if you want to do a crop top you can make like 18 more I'll show you how to make the first row you can make like 18 rows downwards like it's going to be from here like down if you want a crop top but my sister wants it to cover her so i'm going to be making more than 18 rows so if you want it really short you can make less than 18 if you want it really long you can make more than 18 so it depends on what you want to do so let's start i'll meet you at the beginning of the next row so now we are not going to increase again so this is where we are after our 30th row we are going to make a regular 
single crochet in that wrap around your yarn so now we're going to we're not going to do it two times now we're going to do um single crochet through the back loop for the rest of them so single crochet through the back loop i'm sorry i changed location i was filming in the sitting room but now we have everyone around and i cannot film there anymore so now you're going to make it till you get to the other side once you get here you're just going to do a regular crochet one single crochet that's it so when i get here i'll meet i'll continue so after you flip your work around you repeat the same thing you do the regular single crochet and then the rest you're going to walk through the back loop and once you get to the other end at the last stitch you do the regular crochet chain one flip your work around do the regular crochet then walk through the back loops to till the end so now you continue doing this till you get your desired length so i will just work on this and then i will meet you once i'm done i don't want this video too long so i'll meet you when i'm done with this so guys i am done with my top so this is the length that i want so after my 30 um rows from the increment side i did extra 36 rows without increasing it so that is how i have my triangle so now i am going to show you how to do the lace at the bottom part of my top So I am going to chain three. One, two, three. And now I'm going to make a V stitch and I'll make double crochet in this very first stitch. So wrap your yarn around your hook, insert in the very first stitch, wrap your yarn and pull through. So you have three yarn across or around your hook. Wrap your yarn and pull the first and second so you have to wrap your yarn